Hello gun enthusiasts and aficionados. Today's cult day. Cult Detective Special, the old, comparing it to the new Cult Cobra for 2017. The Cult Detective Special fourth issue was introduced in 1973. And uh, let's just compare these two here. This one's uh, this one has snap caps in there. There's our zoom snap caps because uh, this has the firing pin on the hammer and uh, has the shrouded ejector rod, ramp front sight, gutter rear sights, serrated hammer, smooth trigger. Target grips that wrap all the way around. Well, the back is exposed, excuse me. Really nice, nice gun. Six shot. Unlike the J frame, which is only a five shot, this is a six shot. That's what's nice about the Detective Special. Smooth action. And this is the new Colt Cobra. Heavy. Stout gun. Man, it stages very nicely. But it's got a long reset. See that second click there? Click. You gotta let it come all the way back out before you can shoot it again. It clicks twice, see that? With the Smith, it only does it once. It's faster reset. But it's okay. It feels very solid, this gun. Nice and heavy. These are those high-vis fiber optic sights. You can change the color. You can put the trijicon or the gold dot sights in there. Just, just take out that little Allen screw with an Allen wrench. It's very easy. They, they changed the, uh, the trigger guard. See how that one's nice and round? This one's kind of elongated. Supposedly, so that you can use gloves with it. There seems to be a finish. It's, uh, I think it's glass beaded. But you can polish these up. They sell these with the high polished cylinder, and they sell them where the whole gun is high polished. There are guys online polishing these things. I might have this one polished. But they're uh, great guns. Can't beat a Colt. Solid, reliable. A little different. This one's a little more squared off. This one's more smooth. Detective Special has the little serrations on the top strap. a little bit different. The screw on this one is towards the back, on this one is in the front. There's the screw to remove the cylinder. They actually put a some kind of a barcode on there. This is nickel, of course. This is stainless steel. This is the first detective special that was actually rated for plus P. This gun came out in 1973. This one came out in 2017. It's Cobra Detective Special. One of my favorite guns. Nickel. Stainless steel. You can tell nickel because it has a little golden hue to it because of the copper base. Nickel doesn't stick to steel. They have to first coat it with copper, then the nickel. 
If it's silver, it looks it's probably chrome plated like a car's bumper. Chrome will stick to steel. But I like the the new coat. It feels really good. I'm anxious to take it to the range and shoot it. I'm sure it's going to be a great shooter. Feels really nice. I ordered some wooden grips from Altamont. They should be here in about a week. And after I get her polished up, I'll put those new grips on there and show you what she looks like. New technology. Firing pin is in the, the frame. Barrel seems to be tapered, whereas the uh, old one is the same thickness all the way through. So there you go, Colt Detective Special from 1973, Colt Cobra from 2017. My two little ponies. Take care of your guns, and they'll take care of you.